Dancing Dolls are competing in Atlanta, Georgia at the Dance or Book Off competition. Five, six, seven, and eight. Cameron is very versatile. She has a lot of great technique. There's nothing that this kid can't do. So Cameron's gonna have a solo this week and hopefully we can get the solo together in enough time to get her out there on the floor and ready to compete. Cameron, step out. You're supposed to be out in the front. Here, when you step back, whip, you can roll. Step, step, you gotta get out there. This is about you, so you need to make sure you do it correctly. There's so much Cameron has going on in the routine. It scares me a little bit because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to clean it all up and to make sure that she can get through it. You don't get this right, we're not using it. So help me. Start from the beginning. It makes me feel very angry because, you know, this is something I know how to do and this is a lot of pressure because, you know, with me being the only one out there, I have to get it right. You need to get comfortable. It should be like, I'm unbothered, spinning, gone with the damn wind, fabulous. Right now, you look bothered. You look scared. PD think they finna go in there and whoop y'all ass. Hell, this is personal. I'm gonna push Cameron as much as I possibly can because we're going into uncharted territory. Losing is not an option. Guarantee they gonna be eyeballing your ass from across the damn floor. Standing, standing over there looking. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That ain't even right, see? She ain't even do that right. Toes ain't pointing, she ain't even spot. Tearing you down from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Look at them heifers like you unbothered. The weight of the entire team rides on this person's shoulders. And Cameron's act is nowhere near together. I need Cameron to wipe her face, stop crying, and bring it. I know you ain't crying. I tend to get frustrated really easy. And you know, when I get frustrated sometimes, like, my emotions take over. When you get frustrated and you get like this, you lose focus. Nobody's perfect. And you need to stop doing this. You do this every time something gets hard or you can't do something, you do this every single time. Cameron has talked about wanting to be captain, but when something does not go right, she shuts down. That's Cameron's weakness. That's her kryptonite. She's got to stop doing that. How in the world do you plan on being captain if you can't handle me fussing and me yelling? How? What if the girls are having an issue with choreography and they can't get it? You gonna stand there and cry? You gonna have to do something about that. You have got to toughen up. Miss D holds all her captains to a higher standard of the squad than everybody else. Right now, I know Cameron's feeling really bad. Miss D wants her to be better. She wants her to toughen up. It's just a lot on her right now. When I get frustrated, I dig my heels in that much deeper. Do you understand? There's nothing that you can't do. What happened? I see Cameron crying. I'm like, what's going on? Did she do something wrong? Oh, Lord. I don't know what was said. I don't know what's going on. I have to trust Diana's instinct just a little bit, but I'm feeling a little nervous for Cameron. This week, Cameron has so much on her plate. Hopefully, she can pull it off. Well, let me see the first part. Uh, walk, walk, drop. What's after that? You don't remember? I'm getting very confused, like, OK, that's in the stand. This is in my solo. And I have to keep telling myself that every single time I run my solo because it's so similar. I'm not used to you not having it, like, all together. I don't think that Cameron is ready to do the solo this week. If she gets out there and messes up, I know that Cameron is probably going to completely have a meltdown. I think that we need to wait. I think that we just need to.